And that's just fine. Oh, no it isn't. <laughs> this tastes like a lemon had sex with plastic and their baby is awful. Macaroni and cheese lemonade. <laughs> Milk straight from the teeth, zero baby. Last year it was just like, oh, lots of highs, lots of lows. This time it's just like, man, I hope, hope someone kills me. <laughs> this is mustard. Here we go. Hello! This year, I bought a bunch of new lemonades that I thought I hadn't tried before. We're gonna go through them, rate them through one through five. We have my buddy Paul with a real camera setup. This is Bee's Squeeze Lemonade. Let's go. This is the regular lemonade. Hmm, that's not a great start. <laughs> oh my god, it's so acrid. Oh, it's a postage stamp. That's a liquid postage stamp. It's really, really stingy. It's like a, a bee is crawling across your lips. I think I gotta give that a two. Pink rose lemonade. Rose is my favorite flavor. I discovered it last year on the stream. That's much better, because rose is already stingy, so it works with the citric acid. So this one is a bee unwarranted crawling across your lips. This one is like kissing into a rose, and a little bumblebee comes out on your lips and gives you a little kiss back. This is nice, this is a four. I've never had a lemonade with this flavor. This is lavender lemonade. I definitely like it. This is shampoo. Not in a bad way. <laughs> I think this one's my favorite of these four. Favorites from last year, Calypso brand. So I messaged Calypso and I was like, you got like 35 flavors. I can't find a bunch of them. I'm doing a thing for charity. Can I buy some of your Calypso flavors as like a sample package? And they were like, no, fuck off. <laughs> I drove around for like five hours this weekend trying to hunt these down. Oh, I also forgot to mention, uh, this shirt was made um, custom by a friend for this stream. So, Kiwi Lemonade Calypso. Yep, this tastes almost apple-y to me. It tastes like it looks. It tastes like a potion. I give it a three. This would be like a great Halloween drink to like buy a bunch of these and pour them in a punch bowl. For the record, the ones I could not find were Great Berry Lemonade, Jamaica Limeade, which I think is hibiscus, and there's like a coconut limeade. If you find one, I think they're extinct in the wild, so hit me up, I guess. I was so mad, I tried so hard to find High C because it's called Pop and Lemonade, and there's this old dumb post I really like. What's that stuff they put in pink lemonade that makes it so poppin'? And someone responds, that's pussy, babe. Pineapple peach limeade. This tastes like just a mixer. I think two. This is not a drink by itself. It's kind of disappointing that I was like, oh, this is my favorite brand and I found all their rare flavors. It's like, they're rare flavors because stores don't order them because they're not good. So often I get excited to see like, a mint or a limeade and then they put cucumber in it to make me angry. <laughs> cucumber limeade. These all taste like they have apple as a base instead of lemon. They're both two out of tens. I don't really like this at all. This is tropical mango lemonade. That's a little more Calypso-y. Tastes like I shouldn't be drinking. It tastes fermented. Hmm, you might be expired. They taste like nice and tropical. And then like 60% of the way in on its way out, it hits you with like old pumpkin on the porch that you carved a couple weeks ago smell, but like in your mouth. It's like, whoa, should I be drinking you? I'll give it a two, cause it's half of it's good. Not a good showing from Calypso this time, unfortunately. All right, these are Florida's natural. That's nothing. Oh, nothing with a bad aftertaste, oh no. Oh, it gets worse. No, that's just the pumpkin from the last week. Yeah. yeah, this comes in and it's got like something nice and electric and then it like fades out and just kind of keep, like you expect it to like go away, but it's just like, no, I'm still here. It's like a guy hanging out too long after a party who can't take a hint to get out of your house. Give that a two. This is the lemonade with strawberry. Oh no. If you've ever had like a, a, a too old cake where the frosting has crusted over and it was strawberry flavored, 100% what this tastes like. I don't like that one at all. I've never had a lemonade that tastes bad in this way, so that's worth something. <laughs> I'll give it a one. I knew I had another Florida's Natural. The one I had before is zero sugar. This one is normal. That taste on the front I thought was gonna be so bad. This is good actually. 
but for like a split second, the first time you sip it, it's like, it's, it feels like it's gonna kill you. Four, human's own virgin lemonade. This is really light. You could drink a lot of that without realizing you drank any of it. I think I'm gonna have to give it a three. It's not bad, but it's just like, it, it's a very nice, light little drink, but it's actually pretty bad for you, so. This is mustard, here we go. Legitimately about three or four of the lemonades I've had, I would actually rather just drink mustard. That's a great way to devalue my opinion of these, as not it? Just be like, I love drinking mustard. Ice. Sparkling classic lemonade and sparkling ice in all caps, cherry limeade. They taste a lot more than bubble water, but like in that way where it's like, there's something in you and the FDA doesn't require you put it on the bottle yet. So I actually stopped buying them because they, they taste unhealthy in like a different way. Classic lemonade. Yeah, that's fine. It's very artificial. Oh, there's also like vitamins and stuff in this one. It's got kind of a minerally taste, but like in a good way. I like it, four. Cherry limeade is usually the saving grace of most brands, so we'll find out. That's fucking amazing. This is 100% a soda. Zero sugar, I fucking don't believe you. That's a five. That should not taste that good. See, this is, these are like being tempted by the devil. <laughs> For me. Four or five. This one's way better. This is a low four, this is a high five. That's butter. First things first. Spindrift sparkling waters. They're gimmick is that they're like, we don't have any sweeteners and we're actual fruit juice. So it's literally just lemon juice and sparkling water. And they charge a fucking arm and a leg for these. One of them was uh, $12. Just buy lemon or lime juice and put it in carbonated water. It's fine. Unsweetened lemonade, which means it's not lemonade. <laughs> this is lemon limeade, which is to say it has lemon juice and lime juice in it. That's weird to drink after drinking real lemonades. You can tell it's just like fruit juice. It's okay. I sure fucking wouldn't recommend it for $9 for eight bottles. That's highway robbery. I'm gonna give it a three. It's fine. That is water and lemon juice together at last. <laughs> if you're lazy and rich and for some reason you wanna make sparkling lemonade, I mean, this is two of your ingredients in one for quadruple the price of both. I'm gonna give it a two, like for price alone. Pink lemonade spin drift. There's cherry juice and lime juice in it and hibiscus, but only for color. Every time I see an ingredients list say like for color, like vegetable juice for color, it's very much like someone pitching a friend that they know wasn't invited to a party. It's just like, oh, he's just here. He's my ride. He has to come in. He's for color. That's definitely better. The more juices really do something for it. I give this one a four. There's something going on, which is more than the other two can say. This one's my favorite. I know it's my favorite. I've had an entire box of them and I'm dripping it on my hand. Lime juice and raspberry puree. That's almost a full mixer right there. Like if you put it with something. Yeah, that's great. If this were like cheap, it would be a five, but they're not cheap. <laughs> Still good though. None of these lemonades were available to just order online. Like they would all be like, do you want one bottle of this? No no joke, $130. What's this? Oh no. If you guys remember me and the bees from last year, this is a monk fruit one. Monk fruit is like a new age sweetener that I might be allergic to because it made me throw up once. Not last year. Let's try this. I remember these smelling like dog shit. This one smells okay. It smells like a toothache, but it doesn't smell like bad. It's... Mm. If there's an invisible door here that is my metaphorical mouth, this guy came and went like, hey, <laughs> and hit me really hard. You know, when you're gonna throw up, drinking this, it's like, wow, that's a lot of black cherry. And then my body goes, you are going to throw up. I'm gonna give it a three on the assumption that I have a problem with monk fruit biologically. It's an interesting flavor and I don't taste the honey, which is the problem with the other one. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, that is a strong fucking flavor. Like that's a lot of cherry juice. Whoever is their like mixologist at Me and the Bees, I think is, you know, super tasters. I think this person is like a weak taster. Like, <laughs> like they're just like, how much honey should I put in? Like nine tablespoons? Perfect. This is watermelon vibes. Mind and body function. This is a weed lemonade, baby. <laughs> That's just fine. Oh no, it isn't. <laughs> oh, the aftertaste is not good. It just tastes like a ground up watermelon put in like a nice ice drink and then 
On the way out, it tastes like you accidentally went too far and bit into the watermelon rind. Oh. Oh, the after after flavor is even worse. It's meat. It's meat. <laughs> Fuck. That tastes like something you'd have on a marinated steak at the end. Oh, I hate that aftertaste so much. One. Oh, if anything has an aftertaste like that, no one should drink it. <laughs> While we're on this kick of really bad lemonades, there are two more swoon lemonades. I drove two hours to the only store in Los Angeles that has this fucking lemonade, this matcha swoon lemonade. I hate matcha. You all better approve. <laughs> Donate money to charity. So first up is the ginger one. Ginger and lemonade and witch's brew. <laughs> That's bad. It's still the best lemonade swoon's ever made. It tastes like someone left a lemonade out on a porch and five or six ants and like a fly died in it and they just went, that's fine and kept going. I'm still gonna give it a two. <laughs> it's drinkable. The aftertaste has some ginger in it. It's better than that thing I just drank, actually. Fuck. All right, matcha. This smells like the void. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> but I had to describe it. There's no aftertaste, that's merciful. Okay. Mm. Mm. That is actively triggering my gag reflex. The flavor's just vomit. That is a Bernie Bot's jelly bean vomit lemonade. Zero. <laughs> Swoon's done it again! <laughs> it's vomit colored too, so they're not trying to trick you. I will say, this is not as bad as their pink lemonade. Snapple watermelon lemonade. This is literally just a watermelon jelly rancher. I'll give it a four. Wild with a Y instead of an I, CBD. This is another weed lemonade. They taste like the drink equivalent of like right when you're about to have your leg fall asleep or if you bonked your head and you're like, or you get up too fast and you're like a little woozy for like a second. This is more like lemon oil or um, yes. yeah, that's it, thank you. I'm gonna give that a three. It's not for me, but I can see someone being into it. We got some brisk here. I have such low expectations for brisk. <laughs> I hate it when companies do this. Brisk. Juice drink! It's just so generic, it sounds like an alien trying to catfish humans with product. It'll be like, extant drink product, consume with mouth face. Oh, oh, it goes on. <laughs> Get out of there. Low fucking two. Oh, that's bad. In like a situation where people, it's like, oh, I c my family can't afford orange juice, so we just have orange drink, which is unhealthy. This is yellow drink. It's real not good. This is worse than Minute Maid. Actually, this is Minute Maid, but a little worse. And I don't like lemon. Uh, I, I don't like lemonade. I hate this. How could you do this to me, Street? <laughs> this one's pink. It's better. It's not good though. This is a high two. It's just sugar. Hun Hundo P sugar. This is iced tea. I don't have to drink you. <laughs> People kept telling me. They really like Wendy's lemonade. I've had Wendy's lemonade once before and I liked it, but these last night I took a sip of this one on my way home and I thought it was fucking gross. This is normal lemonade. Don't like that. That tastes like Smarties or Rockets in Canada. Tastes like someone took a bunch of those and was like, I think this one's the lemon one and used that as the sugar for a lemonade. Two. The Wendy's that is pink. That's a lot better. It almost tastes watermelony. Very, very fake, very candy. It's pink though. I like this one. This one's okay. I'll give that a four. Uh, don't get the regular lemonade. Yikes. This one is yellowish, but in like a tropical way where it could be pineapple. That tastes like sticky. Like the ambient energy of something you just know is gonna be too sticky. A little bit of juice dripping out of a fruit or like something you got in a movie theater that's about to fall on a floor. It tastes like sticky. I'm gonna give it a three. This one looks, it looks like a sunset. It's pretty. Let's call this one sunset. Let's call that one trash. Ew, I hate that. I hate ones that keep hitting my taste buds after I drink them. Paul, do you wanna try this and help me? Absolutely not. Fair <laughs> enough. A tropical starburst, and then it's surrounded in like a shell of 
This one, that's been expired. I couldn't drink a whole cup of this one. I got some Starbucks lemonades yesterday. This is strawberry acai. Aftertaste is good. <laughs> Took a lot to get there, but it is about the journey and not the destination. I think someone put some put some coffee in this. That's bitter as fuck. I don't like it. Two. I think my difference between a one and a two is literally just could I finish this cup if I were thirsty? This one is mango dragon fruit lemonade, which means it's mango because dragon fruit doesn't have a flavor. Something's wrong with both of these. Sorry, Starbucks. I paid you money and you give me carbo. We give it a two and a two to be nice. Apple cranberry lemonade from Panera Bread. Panera Bread is too fucking expensive for no reason. <laughs> I got a sandwich there that was like $16, it was like a normal ass $3 fast food sandwich, so I don't know what the hell they're playing at. Each of these was like six bucks too. Apple cranberry lemonade. That really tastes alcoholic to me. I don't like that too. It called itself a frozen lemonade that came half frozen, so I just put it in the freezer. Frozen strawberry lemonade. Can't fuck that up, baby. I mean, I did, I threw it in the freezer. Ooh, gotcha. <laughs> That's way too sweet. This tastes like frosting again, motherfucker. Two. Bad batting average so far overall. This is not going as well as the last year, but I guess that makes sense because last year I bought all like the, we are a lemonade company who makes lemonade and know what we're doing lemonades. And this year it's just like, here's all the ones I missed. Oh, they suck. Oh, they yeah. suck. Ow. This one was the most requested lemonade I did not do the first year. It is a brand called Hubert's Lemonade. It was a lemonade you could buy. Coca-Cola bought Hubert's Lemonade and then discontinued it in stores and only used it in restaurants. It's got a million flavors. The subway I went to only had one. I see why Coca-Cola bought this. It's Minute Maid Lemonade if it were a three out of five instead of a two out of five. What they should have done is bought this and then just made it Minute Maid Lemonade. This is literally Minute Maid Lemonade, but a little better. It's the same drink, but better. There is a place called Jinky's Cafe. And I bet people who know me can guess why I decided to try ordering from there. They have a mint lemonade. And if you're in the general Northern Los Angeles area, I'd recommend going to this place because it's a fucking five out of five lemonade, baby. Minute Maid, bane of my existence, ruiner of restaurant lemonades. Okay, Minute Maid zero sugar. Can't imagine how they'd make this even more fake tasting. Yo, they were like, Minute Maid sucks, but how can we make it suck more? Mm. Ugh. Oh, it tastes like industrial jelly. It's so bad, man. I'm gonna take another sip of this one because this might be a zero. I think it's still just barely a one. You're fucking close though. It doesn't activate my gag reflex after I swallowed it. That's literally all that's keeping you from a zero. Oh, it really doesn't taste like a thing an animal should be eating. <laughs> this is a collection of cans. I think I need to straight up like, <laughs> Arizona lemonade. That tastes okay. Great buy 99 cents and I would not pay more for it. I'll give it a three. It's cold. It's cold. I'll give it that. <laughs> if I was overheated, this would be a beverage I could have. Diabolo. Sparkling French lemonade, blackberry, plum, lime, and a pinch of basil. I like all of those flavors. Let's see if I like them together. I don't know. If you brush your teeth and you're like, you know, walking around the bathroom or whatever, and there's a lot of foam at the end, you spit most of it out, and then some you're like, oh, whatever. Oh, swallow. <laughs> it's mostly plum. It's mostly plum, which is an unusual flavor for a drink. It's kind of neat. I'll give it a three. It's interesting. Bang, potent body and brain fuel. This was always next to the G Fuel Gamer Force. Cherry Blade Lemonade. I didn't even see that was the name of the flavor. Oh, there's so many ingredients. That's not good. None of these are food. It's good. I like it. The first time I sipped it, it was like, Ooh, Mountain Dew, something. Mountain Dew. It was like, what was that? We've got something on the radar, sir, and I'm not sure it was good. Costin Press Elderflower Lemonade. Delicate elderflower with pressed lemons and apples. Wonderfully light apples. I was very embarrassed when I was editing this because every time I open a can, instead of being like, yeah, let me just open that with my arms, I'm always like, mm -hmm. we give me chest. 
Um, I could finish this drink. Boy, if that's the only thing I can say right off the bat, that's not great, is it? Elderflower is not a flavor I love in excess. and also kind of tastes like a beer to me. It's like in that direction. Like if Beer Island is over here and Lemonade's over here, this guy's got dual citizenry. No, I don't like that. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah. This is Aussie Lemonade style, so let's see. It's just fine. That's just lemonade. Give that a four. Someone says uh, we want him to drink mustard for getting the gold. Oh, I'll do that right now. Here, I'll do it. Yeah. I wasn't recording on this guy. That's okay. Here, I'll do it again. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> 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 my girlfriend. Just stop! I thought it would be a good way to reset my palate. 7 <laughs> Eleven Select Farmer's Grove Lemonade. That's fine. That's lemonade. The yellow one's like a three. I like uh, sour lemon more than sugary, and almost everything I've had so far is like grossly sweet in like a very fake way. Because nobody uses cane sugar. Which they should. Five. This this one's delicious. Limeade tends to be better, in my opinion, than lemonade because it's sour and it goes into sour. And pink lemonade tends to be sweet, whereas yellow lemonade tends to be like, I don't know, I don't have an identity, unless someone knows what they're doing with it. Pro pee! <laughs> Strawberry lemon, probiotic <laughs> sodas. These have bacteria cultures in them. Facts. No one wants a basic drink, <laughs> I guess. I don't want this though. Mm. I can't really give this like a genuine rating because I don't want to drink it. Three, but like kind of a high three. This is not something you drink for fun. You drink this as like part of a regimen that your doctor puts you on. This one's cherry limeade. These have apple cider vinegar in them. Okay, I will not be swishing these around anymore because my teeth are taking enough hits. It's the same. It's just a slightly different flavor. Three. I, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting these to be a lot less drinkable. This is by Antioxidant Sao Paulo Strawberry Lemonade. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why? This tastes like a candle in a bad way. This tastes like wax. This tastes like the wax that's supposed to burn on a wick. I'm gonna give it a two. It doesn't taste like a lemonade. I could drink it. I wouldn't like it, but I could finish that bottle. Tropicana Lively Lemonade. Please be normal. Please don't taste like a postage stamp. That tastes normal and good. Here's an easy one for you on the system. Normal and good, four. <laughs> Hooray. So many of these disgusting health ones. Electrolyt suero rehydrante. To prevent and treat dehydration. Yeah, it's water, dude. Look at this. This is filled all the way up to the rim. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh my God, this is really disgusting. <laughs> I feel like I'm Yzma holding up the feet. <laughs> Take it, Kronk. Feel the power. Scotch tape is a liquid. <laughs> kind of in the Sue prep world. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you know what else treats and prevents dehydration is water. <laughs> oh my god. Drinking a normal sip of water there felt like so amazing. <laughs> Feel my teeth. This is Frosty Cherry Limeade. I believe this was one of those that's like, recipe unchanged since like 1894. So it's like, that either means it's really good or it's like Necco wafers. And it's like, we suck and don't care. So we'll find out. That's good. That's, Lord Remington gets some of that. This one's good, you wanna try it? Tastes a lot like candy. I'll, I'll give it a five. It's not lemonade by any stretch of the imagination, but like, it's good. Cherry Limeade, man, is like the flavor that always works. This is the only yuzu flavored thing I found. This is Ramune. Are these the ones with the little like marble cap in them? Yeah. This is what little baby weebs have at their first convention. I super don't remember how to open a Ramune bottle. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. They are fun. No, <laughs> that's not very good. I'm up in the air about yuzu. I've got this Trader Joe's yuzu hot sauce. This shit is awesome. It's like, Bitter, spicy, and sweet all at the same time. It's good on everything. And then I got this, which is, well, you don't need to zoom in on this one because this one sucks. I got this and it's yuzu extract. And I was like, this tastes like a lemon had sex with plastic and their baby is awful. I don't like this. This is a two. Oh, I don't like that. 
Oh, this is like milking an artery. <laughs> have you ever milked a cow? I have not. I have actually once. Zero out of five. On the lemonade scale, <laughs> milk straight from the teat, zero, <laughs> baby. <laughs> this one's from my girlfriend in Newfoundland. Look at this. I hope it's as sweet as she is, but I think that's gonna be impossible. So let's hope it's a five. Oh, it's raspberry limeade too, which are like my two favorite flavors. She picked correctly. This is not bad. It's also not great, I'll be honest. It's a three. It's okay. It's very cute though. I I will not lie. <laughs> that one scene in Citizen came where it's just like, oh, my, my girlfriend made this lemonade for me and no one else likes it and I'm just like, amazing! This is Santa Cruz raspberry lemonade. It doesn't taste great. I wouldn't be able to identify that as raspberry. I'd be able to identify it as pink. Peach. Peach lemonade is really feast or famine. Like, uh, did I? Did I drink this already? I don't know if I trust that. I think if I don't swallow it, it'll be okay. That one's going all over the place. I don't trust that I opened this. I think it might have just not had a seal. I don't normally have seals in those bottles. But... Do they not? Oh yeah, okay. In that case, two. <laughs> This is a fun color, very potion-y. Actually, you know what? Like, look at that. This is the color and the flavor of Kraft Mac and Cheese. <laughs> oh no, macaroni and cheese lemonade. I hate that. This can go to hell. <laughs> Get this thing out of here. Wait, we gotta treat that high dehydration. <laughs> oh no! Where else will I find a beverage? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are a bunch of Trader Joe's ones I did not try. I am going to drink from Lord Remington's cup, because these are fancy bitch lemonades. Trader Joe's lemon elderflower soda. So another elderflower one. What does Lord Remington think? This one is better made than the other one, but it's not good. I don't think I like elderflower. It tastes like I'm a horse and I'm just munching on some greens and I don't know what they are. It's a low, low three or a high two. Trader Joe's seltzer water flavored with lemon and ginger juice. You have tricked me. There is nothing. <laughs> this is the lemonade equivalent of tying a quarter to a string and wrapping it around your finger and putting it in a slot only to yank it out after you've stolen a man's gumball. <laughs> oh yes, that taste. You know that taste. It's the taste of chicanery, a charlatan's lemonade. I should have done the entire stream with this character. <laughs> it barely tastes like anything though. It's not bad. I'm gonna give it a three by virtue of just being water. <laughs> French market Trader Joe's sparkling lemonade. <laughs> Everything is wet. I touch the ground and it's wet. I touch the ice and it's wet. That's pretty good. It's very mild compared to a lot of the stuff I've had today, but it's really good. I'm only gonna give it a four but it's relaxing. French Market Sparkling Lemonade. Now for this recipe, you take two ice and a drink. You are done. Not as good. This is a two. There's nothing remarkable about it, it's just worse. I'll put that in my cellar and age it, and perhaps in 50 years it should be worth something. Unlike my son, frittering away the estate with his gambling arrears. He doesn't want to inherit the lemon orchard. Sparkling pink lemonade, to my memory, it is exactly the same as the yellow one. I missed. No, this is better. I've been tricked again. Trader Joe is a trader of lies. This is not bad. It would be so much better if it were gold. It's still better than this. I'm only going to give it a three. To my recollection. This is the bitch. This is the berry lemonade. It is wet for protection, so a highwayman cannot open it when he accosts your cat. Damn you, Trader Joe! You've made a mockery in my profession on stream. This, this one's so good. Five. Trader Joe has saved his reserves for one bottle. And it is this one. It is a good color for your Richmond's table. I'm not really a man from Wessex. 
I'm just a poor boy from the Americas. I worked my way here and swindled my way up to an orchard. <laughs> and now my son wants to throw it all away! Signature select sparkling pink lemonade. It tastes a little bit like those candy, those candy bracelets. I give this a three. I actually think it's better than this one. Let's try its brother, the yellow version. This tastes a little bit like one of those summer popsicle tubes. It's not very good. Give this a two. This is spelled Belvoir, but I have been informed it's pronounced Beaver, actually. So this is... This is elderflower lemonade. <laughs> I was so excited by the brand. And this is cucumber and mint again. And you can see the... Can you, can you get that on camera? Can you see that? Yeah. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I don't like that at all. This is my murder weapon in the game of Clue. <laughs> Which flavor did Lord Remington murder you with? Let me shake it first. So this is Beaver Farm Elderflower Lemonade. <laughs> I've been tricked again! That's good. Someone figured it out. Weird, but it's finally weird in a good way. I'm gonna give this a four. The cucumber and mint one. Oh, it smells like cucumber. <laughs> I know you'd expect that, but like, it's bad. <laughs> I have never tasted anything like that. There's this condiment, it's Greek. Um, and it's like cucumber, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like pisiki or something. If you want that in a lemonade, that's what this tastes like. I like this brand. This brand tries things and goes all the way with making it taste like those things. I respect it, but I'm gonna give it a two. Much like my son. <laughs> uh, this is organic lemonade. As per usual, let's just start off with the normal lemonade. Get the cucumber out of me. I feel like there's so many brand new sentences that were just said that I've never heard before. Get that cucumber out of me. I know there's very dirty places that can apply, but I was picturing like a cartoon with it stuck in his ear. Like, just get that out of there. That's normal and fine. This tastes a lot like Trader Joe's lemonade. It's a three. That's lemonade. Strawberry next. I tend to like raspberry lemonade more than strawberry. I'm also gonna give this a three, but I like this version better. Raspberry lemonade. Yeah. As per tradition, better than strawberry. I actively like this. If, if I was buying all of these, this is the one I would get a second time. I'll give this a four. I feel very powerful doing these like sideways, like fuck you swishes. <laughs> Makes me feel in control. A little bit of the illusion I have control of my life before the lemonade wizard put his curse on me. That's Lord Remington's arch nemesis, <laughs> lemonade wizard. His hat is just a big one of those like juicers. Mango. Gross. <laughs> I will say I'm not a big mango guy. Lemons are so sour and bright and zesty and mango is a very indulgent fruit. It's very sweet and it's a lot. And it's good in like most drinks, but I don't think it plays nice with lemon. It's like a buddy cop movie, but one of them is like really young and uppity and the other one's like old and dies by the end. <laughs> I'll give it a two, assuming other people would like mango more. Lemon, perfect. Hydrating lemon water. Again, hydrating, not a, a praise. It's like seeing a video game that says, features extra lives on the box. You control the character. Like, yeah, that's the genre. <laughs> Tastes like water that had butter in it. <laughs> Oh, it's got such an aftertaste. The noise I make when that happens to me is like, I sound like fucking Jacob Marley. You do not believe in me. I do not. Oh, oh it tastes like butter. It tastes like butter in my mouth. You're a one. You're gross. Okay, this one's pineapple coconut flavored. So maybe like the coconut's natural kind of oiliness will work with the butter flavor. I think I was right, actually. The coconut flavor kind of works with the grossness of the natural product. This is not for me. This is not a lemonade. I'm still gonna give it like the lowest three possible. Peach raspberry. Oh, peach is so bad when it's bad. I think this one's okay too. I give that one a three. That just tastes like a human drink. God, this that base one was really gross. Dragon fruit mango. Dragon fruit does not have a flavor, guys. Hmm. 
That doesn't taste like mango. This is a weird drink that like a bar that doesn't normally have to cater to underage kids might have in stock. I brought my shitty child. Do you have anything for my shitty child? They'll be like, we got this? Do you want this? And he's like, a lemonade? Sure. And the kid will be like, Bleh! but like, it's an okay drink. It's just a child would never want to drink this. All of these are threes. These are all like weird, but okay. Fuck this one. Let's see what colors they are. Normal. <laughs> Do you remember earlier when I was complaining about like delicious beverage drink and the weirdness of shit like that? Yeah. These are my favorite. This one is my favorite of all. This is sparkling functional beverage. Yo, this beverage functions. This is a corporeal beverage right here. This beverage does not contain spikes. You guess. I'm gonna name two of these three ingredients. Guess the third one. It has yuzu, ginger, and guess. Oh my god. It's not a spice, oh. it's not an herb, and it's not a fruit. So is it a chemical? Nope. It is a reishi mushroom. Reishi mushroom? There's a mushroom in this. So let's see if this beverage is functional. <laughs> that sounds like something that a marketing person who got really bitter when they, they did like tests and people were like, this is, this drink is not even functional. And they like changed it and it was like, how about now? Is it functional now? <laughs> it does smell like there's mushroom in it. I don't like this at even a little level. Even minuscule. Adding any level of umami to a lemonade is insane. <laughs> it confuses and angers me. Would you describe it as functional? Technically, yes. You could drink it. This went in my mouth. Functional. Lord Remington's son made this. Look, my terrible son! Damn you, Joffrey! Your drinks are not functional! We're a disgrace to the lineage. This is white peach. What, what is that? Lemon garbina, morninga, morninga? I don't know what that is. And ashwagandha. I don't know what that is either. Morninga. Horseradish. Which uh, I also would choose not to call it horseradish. Okay, looking this up, every single thing that's like shop ashwagandha is like clearly multi-level marketing scam health <laughs> pills, so that's not a good sign. What the fuck does that smell like? Hang on. Oh, if you open your fridge and you smell that, something's gone bad. Very well, son. Show me your new beverage. Perhaps you'll enjoy this one more, father. Since you didn't think my other one was functional. No, we shall see. Oh my God. You smell this. You smell this thing in this cup. Yeah. I hate it. I, it's a real bad smell. Hmm. It smells exactly as it tastes, no better, no worse. Which is not usually the case. This smells and tastes like going out in the woods and finding like an old shack that like a handyman used to use for the grounds. And there's nothing in it, but it hasn't been taken care of in like eight years. And you open it up and it's just like, oh, plywood. Oh, a little bit of mold. Oh, something needs to be done in here. Father, what do you think of my new drink? What the hell is this? Has the poison taken root? Oh, you idiot child. <laughs> I've built up an immunity to all poisons by drinking the world's shittiest lemonades. Sunwink. Sparkling tonic, and I think it's rose and lemon, which I love those flavors. Store refrigerated. I didn't because the store didn't do that. <laughs> Ingredients. Sparkling filtered water. Maple syrup. You have failed. <laughs> Father, I have another drink for you. Maple syrup, lemon juice, hibiscus, and rose, and pink salt. Pink salt for flavor. Why is there maple syrup in there? You wanted new flavors. You wanted something functional. I hate you, child. <laughs> you have done me wrong, child! <laughs> I wish you were dead. This is my idiot son, Joffrey. He has every disease. <laughs> oh, it smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, okay, from here, smells amazing. Lift it up, maple syrup. <laughs>
Blah. This is an amazing drink that someone put maple syrup in. <laughs> you know, son, in a movie, when someone is walking through the woods and they're about to find a monster or a dead body, the music will slowly swell into something ominous. I get the same sensation approaching your garbage lemonade! <laughs> it's maple syrup colored, too. It's better when you swallow it. Like it's worse in your mouth. Okay, if I'm if my description of a, rem a lemonade is I hate it when this is in my mouth, it's a one. <laughs> what do you think of my lemonade, father? <laughs> I regretted the day I sired you. We're gonna do the mixed lemonades now. Kroger, refresh lemonade. That's like aggressively fake, but kind of fun. Like I this feels very I'm seven and playing in like at like a backyard party at a friend's house. I like this a lot, actually. It's very not real, but what is? Four, we'll do a four for that. Raspberry lemonade. Oh shit, that's fucking good. That's like good, good. Very fake, but like if I were a kid, I'd, I'd be in love with that. I'm gonna give that a five. On the bell curve of powdered lemonade, that is the best you can ask for. You'll notice I always give fives for like very sweet pink lemonade and very sour yellow or green lemonade. Here's crystal light. This is like one to one, just worse than this. Like they're the same flavor, but this one sucks. That's unfair. I'm gonna give this a three. If I hadn't had this one, I'd be like, that's pretty good. But like this one is just strictly 100% better. Just, this looks like medication. Okay, so this is Pepto-Bismol. Um, it's fine. Three out of five. Let's try the Kool-Aid. I've got hopes and dreams. I don't like it. There's like nothing going on. Two. This is like unhealthy and nothing. You have to bring your own sugar to the party? That's wild. Don't make someone buy sugar for your shitty packet lemonade. Market pantry lemonade. It's marginally better than the Kool-Aid. Yeah, no, now that I know there's fucking options, uh, two. Also market pantry, strawberry lemonade. That also tastes like a candy. This tastes like a gummy bear. I wouldn't even recognize this as lemonade. It would just be like a drink. I like it, four. Let's try this watermelon one. Do you taste like a gummy bear? Very watermelon. I'm gonna give it a three. It's not bad. I don't like watermelon, but it's, it is what it's trying to be. And if you have a kid who likes watermelon, they'll like that. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher again. A much better crop of powdered lemonades. I really got the bad ones last time around. Wow. No. Yeah, no, it looks that way in real life too. Love that milky yellow. Like peeing in a stream. <laughs> Mio, like peeing in a stream. No, that's all you get out of me. Nothing fun for that description. That's just not good. And this is Market Pantry, which um, that's the same brand as these. Okay. Energy Cherry Limeade. If you want sour water, then this is it. I'll give it a three. It's okay. I forgot a me and the bees. If I handed you lemonade and it smelled like this, would you drink it? <laughs> this sucks, by the way. Uh, two. I don't like it. R.W. Knudsen Organic Lemonade. An organic apple. <laughs> you fucked up, son. 100% juice? Okay, no, if you're going for 100% juice, then yeah, no, you use apple or pear as the filler, okay. This is 9% of your daily sugar, which is like nothing for a lemonade. That's actually really good. Yeah, that's fine. That's like real juice too. It's not exceptional, but it's good. I will give that a four. Uh, I'm gonna be unfair and immediately compare that to Capri Sun. Unfair to Capri Sun, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yucky. Rochelle salt. You put salt in my lemonade. It's not good and it's not curious enough to share. It's a two, but only because I could finish this and just not like it. Xavia Kid Strawberry Lemonade. Minnie Mouse is here. It doesn't taste like lemonade at all. It tastes like juice in big quotes. Two. Good to grow. Starring Pods Raspberry Lemonade flavored juice beverage. I believe these. Come with a little character. So let's see who's in my pod. Who is in my pod, sir? This is so much plastic. This is like 12 pieces of plastic that are all connected in different ways. This is so hard to open. <laughs> it's Diva. I've collected her. This 
tastes like drinking bubble soap. I'm gonna give it a three. You know what? No, I'm gonna give it a two because this is a disaster environmentally. I killed 12 fish just by buying this item. So I did miss another Santa Cruz. It's last chance to have a winner. This is limeade. It smells so bad. It tastes good though. A rare one-two punch there. I'll give it a four, but only barely. That's my favorite Santa Cruz I've had today, no question. San Pellegrino Limonada, a little bit postage stampy. I don't know what's, did my tongue change over the last year? Why does this keep happening? It's fine, give it a three. Thirst quencher, recharged organic lemon. <laughs> can, you, can you give me the, <laughs> Made by Knudsen and Sons. Why can't you be more like Knuds and Sun? Hmm. Oh, the second thought, maybe don't be so much like him. Oh, the aftertaste is worse. Fuck. Oh, it can't, it, it's like growing, it's like snowballing. Why? It's like a plasticky ball of butter is on a slope and it's rolling down and picking up more gross butter and preservatives. Oh my God. It's so bad. It's very weird to go from like, oh, that's bad to like, oh fuck, I need to aim at the sink. I might actually spew one. If you held me at gunpoint, I could drink that. The zeros, uh, no. <laughs> I'd say shoot me. Gus, grown up soda, not too sweet. You would think grown up soda would imply alcohol. It's, it's not, it's a soft drink. That's cane sugar. Oh, be good, please. Yo, oh, that's the first time I've been happy in like an hour. That's just fine. And right now, that's amazing. <laughs> Four, that's a nice lemon soda. It's fine. Oh my God, it's fine shouldn't feel as good <laughs> as it does. Last year it was just like kind of, a, it kind of did average out to a three. And it was like, oh, lots of highs, lots of lows. This time it's just like, man, I hope, I hope someone kills me. <laughs> I got this from Rhode Island on a um, very specific request. This is Dell's Frozen Lemonade. You're supposed to crush ice cubes for this one. I don't have a blender. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I thought the bag would be a little stronger. Basically, you're supposed to puree it with ice, but I'm an idiot, so that's not going to happen. I believe it is time for alcohol. Fuck, I keep finding more. This is Simple Truth Organic. This is not alcoholic, I just missed it. That's good, actually. It's a four. That's just a solid lemonade. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nice to have a good thing. This is Mike's Harder Lemonade. Because, yeah, that was the problem before. <laughs> it's harder to open. <laughs> That didn't open it. <laughs> you know, I think that is marginally better than a normal Mike's Lemonade, because those are real bad. I mean, it's a one for me. I think it's gross. I like, I could drink all of that. So I guess it's a two. Whatever. Next. We've lost everything. <laughs> Thanks to Joffrey's investments. I'm drinking through my fermented lemonade wines. <laughs> Black cherry. So this is the one I liked. Tastes a little medicinal, the cherry. Very cough medicine. I mean, it's for sure worse than the, like, the other one's like a four. Even by my standards, the other one's like a good drink. One, tastes like medicine. Santa Monica Brew Works 310 Stomp Shandy. Uh, blended with hot dog on a stick lemonade. I don't know. It's actually yellow, so hey, that's something. Ooh. Ooh, gross aftertaste on this one. You know how they called this hot dog on a stick lemonade? Feels like someone dropped a corn dog in this and like they didn't take it out and like the breading on the corn dog just kind of dissolved off into it. Welcome to the one club, baby. <laughs> one, 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 can we keep it going? Corona hard seltzer limonada. And then there's a strawberry on there. It's strawberry. That actually smells nice. Hmm. That's okay. It kind of, tastes like soap. I like this. I give this a four, actually. This this tastes like um, a Bath and Body Works soap area. Like walking through and just be like, ooh, smells like a bathroom store. Smells like a bathroom store. Put that on the can. <laughs> Classic lime, margarita style, a hard seltzer. Not really lemonade by any definition, but I believe there is actually lime juice in it. Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't hate that either. I obviously wish it wasn't alcoholic. That tastes like one of those summertime melty tube pops, but this is lime. 
It's okay. Two, I could actually finish this. Oh, feel this can. Oh yeah, it's what I've seen it. Yeah, it's like, it's like a fingerprint. Yeah. Flesh can. <laughs> All right, this is Crown Royal Whiskey Lemonade served in a flesh can. <laughs> I hate Joffrey's pacifism. We take our enemies and we turn them into flesh cans. <laughs> That's actually kind of interesting. I give this one a three. It's pretty good. It tastes surprisingly dainty. Its flavor is in the profile of like mint, basil, pine. It reminds me of like a pine tree. All right, let's try this peach bitch. Mike's is fucking feast or famine. They are either garbo or like actually okay. And there's no middle ground. It doesn't taste alcoholic, but it doesn't taste like anything. Six out of five. <laughs> no. Um, I have to give it a three by virtue of not being bad, but it's also not good. I guess if you want to get a buzz, you can have- Is it functional? It's functional. Oh, this is functional. House wine lemonade. This matches my shirt. Camouflage. Don't like how that smells. <laughs> Without having any interesting notes, I think that might be my least favorite thing here. Fuck, that's such a bad aftertaste. Ugh. Tastes like fucking oats. Tastes like wet oats. I have three more of these. Fuck. All right, let's hammer them out as fast as I can. Okay, strawberry. Smells real not good. Wow. Oh, yuck. I'm gonna hate this. <laughs> okay. That was a legitimate spew. I couldn't have kept that in. Fuck. Oh, the aftertaste is good. <laughs> I don't know what part of a wall that is, but it's somewhere between the outer plaster and the insulation foam. I don't think I could drink that. I think that's a zero. This is raspberry lemonade. Hmm, that one's a lot better, too, because it tastes like raspberry and lemonade. Maybe it's just because it followed up its disgusting brother, but uh, that one was okay. And then the last one is blueberry citrus lemonade. That's a smell. It changed the second time I smelled it, like a chameleon. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a one. I think it's kind of gross, but it's still better than the strawberry one. Okay, I hated that brand. Olipop ginger lemon. It smells kind of good. It smells like ginger and lemon, which alleviates my casual nausea. The ginger is nice. The lemon is refreshing. I don't know why I'm talking like I have a gun to my back. Yeah, it's a three. Having a non-alcoholic drink for me after this tastes amazing. Koe, packed, I <laughs> read this is packed with problems. It's packed with probiotics. It's kombucha, only better. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah, that's not a good smell. That's a smell that smells bad. The flavors that are there are good. There is strawberry and there is lemon. Again, there's fermentation, which is not a genre of flavor that I like. It's a really nice aftertaste though. I'm gonna give this a three for me. I could drink this. I don't like the, like the kombucha in it, but the actual ingredients they used are fucking good. Kyla, hard kombucha. Man, were you enjoying how no alcohol there was in that previous kombucha? I have great news for you, Jello. Ooh, that smells like a wet diaper. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> it tastes a lot better than it smells. I'm gonna give it a two. I could drink that. That is a yucky smell. We're almost there. <laughs> Fuck. Suter Home Lemonade Wine Cocktail made with real lemons. It's so hard to just say anything interesting about these alcoholic drinks, because like, if you're not used to the flavor of alcohol, it's so prominent that like, it's very hard to find the other notes going on. Yeah, there's citrus, it's alcohol. What do you want from me? One. Guava Lemonade, Shilling Hard Cider, Big Zesty. I think this is Big Zesty. <laughs> I got such a specific image. I pictured on an old timey laundry clothesline in the back of a house, slices of pizza had been hung out to dry, but then it rained and the pizza rotted. And that's what this tastes like. Mmm, wow, oh my God. I thought I was bullshitting a couple seconds after the flavor left my mouth, but no, that's really what that fucking tastes like. One. All right, Khalifa Farms. You're not alcoholic, I just forgot you. Oh, it's Calafia, and this is just fine. It's a three. Can you hear that, by the way? Yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, listen to my movie theater sticky floor. <laughs> you tell me what my favorite lemonade was because I don't remember happiness <laughs> anymore. God, there were like almost no good ones this year. I found all the good ones last time. Shit. There's so many comments on the edited video where people just make fun of me being like, have you ever drunk gasoline, but only on a Tuesday and only a little? It's great, four out of nine. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't refute that. That is how I describe things. Hey, thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to my wonderful patrons whose names you can see scrolling by on the left. Unfortunately, I think this is gonna be the last time I do a lemonade video. And not that I wouldn't be interested in doing more, I just, don't think there is more to do. I genuinely think I've consumed 85 to 95 percent of the lemonades that are available for retail in the U.S., probably more. I might be down to do a similar charity stream maybe next year with like a different drink item or like a candy or something. Maybe like every bubble water flavor or something. It it's tricky because I don't want to open like 400 cans of bubble water and then have them all go flat because that's a waste. It would be the same thing with soda. And also I don't drink, so I can't do alcohol. Nor would I want to, it would be so expensive, oh my God. But if you've got an idea, leave it in the comments below. Maybe I'll look at it. And there's an even better chance I'll look at it if you leave your idea on my Patreon. I got a bunch of other big videos in production. Uh, next one's gonna be like two hours long and probably my best video ever, honestly. I'm really, really excited for it. And until next time, if you see a swoon lemonade in your local supermarket, set it on fire. Okay, bye.